en question. President, please be seated. Président, veuillez vous asseoir. ตอนนี้จะเรียกประกาศตอให้ตำนานการในเทปที่สามารถการในเทปที่สามารถการในเทปที่สามารถการในเทปที่สามารถการในเทปที่สามารถการในเทปที่สามารถการในเทปที่ส
To which period did you refer? À quelle période vous référez-vous lorsque vous dites cela? So the removal of your weapons had nothing to do with you working at Kampong Chnang Airfield, but it was done in 1975, is that correct? The weapons were removed before I was assigned to work at the Kampong Chnang. I understand, but uh, those 150 members of K4 who went to the battlefield, surely they had weapons? Or were, were they going unarmed to fight the Vietnamese? When soldiers Lorsque who soldats were re transferred from K4 unit to go there on a voluntary basis, I did not know whether K4 they were armed. Have you ever heard as a military person that fellow comrades were sent to fight the enemy without arms? As I said, those soldiers who were sent to the battlefield, whether they were authorized to carry firearms or not, I did not know because by that time I had been removed from the said unit. Let me rephrase then my question. Um, in those roughly seven years, including that one or two weeks that you said that you were commanding officer of K4, have you ever experienced comrades fighting the enemy without guns, rifles, machine guns, etc.? Those soldiers who sent to fight, of course they would not uh, send there with uh, their bare hands. Uh, that's what I thought, um, Mr. Witness. Uh, let me ask a few additional questions um, relating to the period that you joined the armed forces in 1970 up until the last day that you were commanding officer of K-4. Um, in those around seven years, did you ever Pendant refuse orders années, that were given to you? Des qui vous Since I joined the army, I never received such an order. Maybe something went wrong in translation. My question was, did you ever refuse orders?
Soldiers never dare to refuse or protest orders from their commanders. But you were a commander yourself. Um, did you ever give orders to, to your soldiers? À vos subalternes, à vos soldats. When there were works to be assigned to them, of course, the orders had to be given. Uh, and orders, unless uh, unlawful, had to be followed. Is that correct? Since I joined the unit, no order was given in terms of any works outside the scope of the military duty. In those few weeks, you said that you were commanding officer of K4. Did your men have uh, roofs? to sleep under? Did they have mosquito nets? Did they have hammocks in which they could sleep? In the unit, K4, a a long building was made as a sleeping quarter, although there was no sleeping mat. There was also no mosquito net provided. So when you were commanding officer of K4, um, would it be fair to say that the situation was roughly the same as when you were with K4 at Kampong Chnam Airfield? Sur le site de l'aéroport. In unit K4. Réponse. And I can also say about uh, while I was in Kampong Chinang, the uh, conditions was the same. Et à Kampong Chinang, les conditions étaient les mêmes. When you were commanding officer of K4, did Question you give your men wages? Did you give them salary? Donnez-vous une rémunération. Soldiers did not receive any wage. So again, there was no difference when you were commanding officer of K4 in terms of wages and when you were working at Kampong uh, Chang Airfield. Is that, is that correct? Yes, indeed. When you were commanding officer of K4, how was the hygiene situation? Um, did you provide your men with uh, bathing facilities? L'infrastructure nécessaire pour se laver. In unit K4, and in terms of sanitation, I can tell you that even I personally did not have a blanket or a mosquito net. Is it fair to say that when you were commanding officer, um, those, that situation um, wasn't much different? 
from when you were at Kampong Chinang Airfield? Not very different from when you were at the airport of Kampong Chinang. Yes, that is correct. Réponse, oui, c'est exact. Let me ask the question the other way around. Uh, can you give us one difference in terms of working conditions, une material, equipment, etc., between the time that you were commanding officer of K4 and the time that you were working at Kampong Chinang Airfield as member of K4? Vous étiez membre de K4 et vous travailliez à l'aérodrome de Kampong Chinang. I think the objection, Your Honour, is the, the relevance of, the, of this line of questioning. Um, this witness has talked about being the commanding officer for two weeks in, uh, in and around March 1977. And then, at a late later point in time, he's talked about, uh, he's given evidence that uh, he and his unit were tempered uh, for about a five-month period. And so uh, I'm just wondering how relevant it is doing a comparison of uh, the conditions when uh, this witness was a commander for two weeks, um, a per period of time where I believe on the evidence it's not the time that um, this witness and his unit were being tempered. They were being tempered Ceci later on in the year for about five months before going to Kampong Chnang. So um, if, the, if the idea Donc, is that uh, there was no, um, uh, no discrimination um, at, at Kampong Chnang compared to when he was a commander at uh, um, K4, I think the comparison is better uh, when they're being uh, tempered at K4 rather than when he was commanded. Well, it's our position that his unit wasn't tempered at all. However, leaving that aside, I think it's fair to make a comparison between um, the work of K4, when, of which he was commander in about um, roughly March 77, possibly longer, and the working conditions in 78 Kampong Chang Airfield, of which the closing order says it was forced labor. Um, we will dispute that, but that's another question. But I think it's fair to try to uh, establish or determine uh, which working conditions were in fact the, produ the, the product of um, forced labor, which working conditions were in fact uh, the normal working conditions of soldiers within K4, within Division 310. Sorry, was there an objection or was this an observation on behalf of the prosecutor? I think that's correct, Your Honor. I think it was more an observation. Then I'll move on. Thank you for your observation, Mr. Prosecutor. Um, can you give me one clear example of a difference um, in respect of working conditions, working times? available equipment in those weeks in March 77 and the period that you were at Kampong Chang Airfield. What was a striking difference um, between those two periods? At uh, unit K4, à K4 regarding the living condition and the necessities, including knives, hose, and kettles for rice farming, 
And that was different from the living condition and working condition in Kampong Chenang, which we were only distributed a whole each in order to dig the ground or to clear the grass. The work at K4 units started at 6 and we rested at 11 and resumed at 1. We continued working until 5. Where in Kampong Chenang, we had to line up at 4 in the morning to go to the work site and continue to working until 11. We resume at 1 again and continue to working through 6 or sometimes 7 o'clock uh, in the night. Or in some other instances, we continue to working until 9 or 10 uh, in the night. Um, I understand. Um, however, when you were at Kampong Chenang Airfield uh, as of 15 January 78, um, was there ever a sense of urgency communicated to you and others um, in relation to uh, the war with Vietnam? In the previous months before 15 January 78, Tens of thousands of Vietnamese troops had, in, had come, had crossed the borders. Was there some sense that the work at Kampong Chang Airfield had to be finished soon? Um, while I was working in Kampong Chenang, I never heard anyone talking about the Vietnamese crossing Cambodian territory. And at that time, I was working like other people in our respective unit. Let me rephrase my Maître question. You started working at Kampong Chang Airfield at 15 January 1978. What had happened nine days earlier, 6 January 1978? Do you recall in terms of um, the end of the war or the, or the withdrawal of troops? Do you remember anything? Par rapport au retrait des troupes et à la fin de la guerre, vous souvenez-vous de quoi que ce soit? Answer, I do not know about it. Réponse, je n'en sais rien. Uh, you were from the original uh, north zone, if I'm Question, correct. Vous veniez de la zone There's a 6 January si dam in the north zone, the old north zone. Do you know why it's zone. called the 6 January dam? Pourquoi l'on appelle ce barrage ainsi? Answer. I have no idea because I have Réponse. never seen that dam. Je n'en ai aucune idée. Je n'ai jamais vu ce barrage. Um, you also gave testimony that uh, a month after you had arrived at Question. Kampong Chenang Airfield, um, you Kampong were sent to Phnom Penh for three months uh, education to become a surveyor. Pour y être formé en tant um, carpenter. Did they tell you um, why they had chosen you uh, to do this three months course? Vous aviez été choisi pour assister à cette formation de trois mois? Your Honour, it's not an objection. It was uh, two months after he arrived. Madame et Monsieur le Juge, ce n'est pas une objection. C'est simplement pour dire que c'était deux mois après son arrivée. Two months. Did they tell you why uh, it was you? Why, why you were chosen uh, to be able to do this education um, in Phnom Penh? I believe I gave my response to this question on Friday, so it is a repeated question. However, I would like to répétitive. give my response again. Quand même vous une réponse. At the time, there was an individual by the name Han. À ce he knew me 
qui s'appelait Han, me connaissait. That et c'est lui I, uh, qui a demandé que je sois envoyé uh, training. I gave my statement already on Friday. I, I know you did, but um, Han was from Division 502. Oui, vous fait. You were from Division um, Han de la 310. Um, did your commanding officer um, tell you why you were chosen vous a dit vous été to go to Phnom Penh for three months? vous rendre à Phnom Penh et, et rester pendant trois mois. First biography was gathered and made. Les biographies ont été rédigées et compilées. Et seule une personne pouvait être envoyée en formation. Si quelqu'un a quelque sorte de connaissance, cet individu pouvait être envoyé pour le training. Mais pourquoi vous avez vous dit que votre commandant officier vous a dit pourquoi le choix était porté sur vous Pourquoi vous êtes porté sur vous Pourquoi vous êtes porté sur vous Vous devenez un arpenteur sur un terrain d'aviation de haute sécurité Sur un terrain d'aviation de haute sécurité Answer. I do not know the reason. Réponse. Je ne sais pas pourquoi. I was told that I had to go to Phnom Penh to participate the training so that I could obtain the training and came back and work. Afin d'être formé et de revenir pour travailler. But you said you had have have been a commanding officer of K4. Vous avez été commandant de K4. Then while you said that your unit was tempered. But then, all of a sudden, it seems you were asked to go for this three months education training in Phnom Penh. Did they tell you why all of a sudden you were perceived as a loyal cadre again? Perçu comme étant à nouveau un cadre fidèle et loyal. It is very difficult for me to give my response. However, I would like to give my answer as follows. Your question is why the loyal, why the trust was withdrawn from me after superior were arrested. La confiance qui avait été placée en moi avait été retirée. En fait, les supérieurs ont été retirés de quatre ans pour quatre mois. Et après, je suis retiré de quatre ans pour quatre mois. Je suis resté à Kampong Chinang pendant deux mois. Suite à quoi, pendant deux mois, j'ai été envoyé à Kampong Chinang pour étudier la terre. Je suis allé parler de cela vendredi matin. Mais je vais vous poser une question différemment. Je vais vous poser une question différemment. Je vais vous poser une question différemment. Était-ce une promotion que de devenir arpenteur ou bien l'inverse Réponse. One who work to uh, survey the land were, were soldiers and there were superiors in, responsible for uh, them. And as I stated earlier, uh, people who work in the uh, world to survey the land uh, were all combatants. Um, I'll move on. Um, Question. Mr. Witness. Je vais poursuivre, Monsieur uh, but not before putting to you um, that you have been a um, loyal cela, revolutionary cadre from vous, 70, 1970 vous all the way up till 1979 and that you were never refashioned. Is that correct? Vous avez été un cadre révolution pour moi vous avez été cadre révolutionnaire loyal jusqu'en 1979 et c'est exact.
ชมพัฒน์ชมอันเซอร์ This is a repetitive question You ask me again and again Vous me posez la question I, encore et encore. Very, it's very difficult for me to give my response, and this question is put to me in order to confuse me, Mr. President. Please help. The President, President, Mr. Witness, in before the chamber, witness is cross. Un témoin qui comparait devant party, la chambre doit être entendu par les by parties, parties, par toutes les parties. And please, il doit être interrogé quand interrogé question, et doit répondre you know. aux questions qui lui sont posées. Know, Veuillez répondre aux questions know. si vous ne savez pas y répondre. And as uh, the chamber has informed the party already, there are some questions uh, which are prohibited by the chamber. And as you Have seen the party across the bench has the right to put an objection to the question put by another party, and likewise the chambers have the right to deny the objection or grant the objection. And the last question. Was not objected by the party across the bench. You are here and you are being cross-examined by the defense team. So, if you remember, you can give your response. And if you do not remember the question, you could ask the defense counsel to repeat the question. I'll repeat my question, uh, Mr. President. Uh, Mr. Witness, is it true that you have always been a loyal revolutionary cadre from 1970 all the way up to 1979, that in fact you've never been tempered or refreshed? Witness, I would like to give my response as follow. Voilà ma réponse. From 1970 to 1975, Entre 1970 et 1975, I was a soldier. Nothing that happened soldat. on me. But Rien later on, arrivé. after 1975, par suite, après 1975, as I stated earlier, in 1977, I was then a soldier, but I was refreshed and tempered. J'étais envoyé en rééducation. Fine, uh, Mr. Witness, I will move on. Um, do you know when um, the Division 310 chief was uh, arrested? Do you know when he was arrested? Answer. I do not know Réponse. about the arrest. Je n'en sais rien. I only knew what I have told you earlier concerning uh, the, the time that I was invited invited to a training and listened to the recording. I understand, but I'm asking because there might be some confusion as to his day of arrest. Mais il y a peut-être une confusion par rapport à la date d'arrestation. Il a été arrêté le 4 mars 1978 ou bien il a été arrêté un an plus tôt. Answer. I do not know about the exact date Réponse. that Je he was arrested. I understand, but was it um, February, Question. March 1977 or was it February, March 1978? Answer. 
I would like to inform the chamber that I could not get the question. Je n'ai pas bien compris votre question. Un, the chief question. of division Un, 310, chef de la division of which you were a member for nine years, was he arrested in ans, March, February 1977 or February, March 1978? <coughs> Answer. Réponse. Ta Kum and Ta Un were arrested in 1977. Very well. For the record, Mr. President, there is a document E3-1993, which would imply that Un was arrested on the 4th of March 1978. But I'll move on. You were speaking about Ta Kim. Was that the other name of um, ex-deputy political commissar Sao Kun? President, please, Judge Lavenge, you have the floor. Oui, Maître Copé, vous venez de faire référence à un document, je n'ai pas très bien compris. De quel Here document il s'agissait euh, Pour que ce soit également noté au transcript de l'audience, j'indique que dans la liste révisée des prisonniers de S21, le document de 3 bar 342, à la page 391 et à l'entrée 8967, est mentionné l'arrestation du nommé Zbov Im. Alias Un, Mention is made of Un, alias Un, member of the division 310, the date of arrest is the 17th of February 1977. C'est le document E3 bar 1891 et ses aveux sont datés du 20 février au 14 mars 1977. I agree. Paul Ingsari trial document, which says that Un was arrested on the 4th of March 1978. That's why I was asking for clarification. But I'll thank you, Judge Levere. But my question was about Takim. Was he the same as Sao Kun? Do you know? Était-ce le même que Sao Kun que vous avez connu? There was only one name for Takum. True, but was he was his real name Sao Kun? Question. Son nom était-il Sao Kun? Son vrai nom? Answer. Réponse. I do not know his family's name. Je ne connais pas son nom I de famille. I knew only his first name, Ta Kum. Je connaissais seulement son prénom, Ta Kum. Uh, do you know, um, Question. Mr. Witness, what the relation, if any, was between Un, un lien entre Vun, Vun, Kim, Kim, on the one hand, and Koi Tun, on the Koitum, other hand? d'autre part. Answer. Réponse. The relationship between superiors, I have no idea. Je n'ai aucune idée des liens qui unissaient les superiors. Have you ever heard that Koi Tun was arrested um, because he was preparing a coup d'état in January 1977? 
en janvier 1977. En avez-vous entendu parler Answer, I have no idea. Je n'en ai aucune idée. Um, have you ever heard that Koytun um, forces from Division 310 to prepare for this coup d'état? Préparer le dit coup d'état. Answer, I don't know. Earlier this morning, you spoke about um, weapons being transported. Um, and when you saw that, you were asked to mind your own business. Um, were these weapons transported to Phnom Penh in January 1977? Answer. I could recall it. Réponse. I asked uh, the one who was transporting the, the weapons at that time. I asked him, and he told me that he told me to mind my own business because I was a handicapped soldier at that time. I understand, but was it um, shortly before January 1977? The coup d'état was supposed to take place in January 77, and those weapons were shipped or, or, or sent just before that. Colonel, just uh, the objection is uh, in relation to the, the question. It's a leading question, and I'm, I'm wondering where the uh, the information is based. Je voudrais savoir sur to quoi s'appuient ces informations, sur quoi s'appuie l'avocat pour I'm poser cette question up, aux témoins. Um, Bien sûr, euh, um, Maître Copé, le scandale de M. le Président, il s'agit de l'information de Kiernan, un propos où l'État a eu lieu le 17 janvier 1977, contre le régime de Pol Pot. Um, Mais je vais poursuivre. Mr. Because of time, Mr. Witness, uh, I think you are also quite familiar with um, a town in the Je north of uh, Cambodia, Siem Reap. Were you, at one point in time, stationed in Siem Reap? Avez-vous été en poste dans cette ville à un moment donné? Answer. I did not réponse. hold any position in Siem Reap province. Aucun poste dans la province de Siem Reap. But in your DC camp statement, Question I read that um, you, have, CDK, you have been in Siem Reap at one point in time as a soldier between 1970 and 75. Is that correct? Answer. Réponse. I went to Siem Reap. That Je is me fact. suis rendu à Siem Reap. But it was in early 1973, not 1975, as do you know what happened in Siem Reap on the 25th of February 1976? Answer, I did not know. Um, have you heard around that time of reports of military uprising and bombing um, by jet fighter planes um, in Siem Reap? 
Have you heard anything about what happened in Siem Reap in February 1976? Answer. I did not know in 1976 what happened in Simbria. Je ne sais pas ce qui s'est passé en 1976. Have you heard of um, Question. intensive fighting entendu parler uh, de in the remainder intense. period of 1976 um, in the area of Siem Reap, en 1976, fighting between various factions of the Revolutionary Reap, Army? Le combat entre factions de l'armée révolutionnaire. Answer. I do not know. Je n'en sais rien. Question. Then I will return to what you said about Alors je reviens à ce que uh, the vous weapons avez dit being uh, transported or weapons being taken. Qui étaient transportées. Um, can you do your best again and try to remember faire de vous when exactly uh, you were told de ce que vous to mind your own business? Ce que l'on vous a demandé de vous occuper de vos affaires. Answer. Réponse. I do not recall the exact date, month, and year, but as I said, I witnessed that weapons were being transported. The vehicles stopped in front of me. I asked the guy where the weapons were sent to, and I was warned that uh, warned that I had to mind my own business. M'a averti qu'il fallait que je m'occupe de mes propres affaires. Do you know how many months Question. that was before you became the K4 commander? Savez-vous combien de mois se sont écoulés après cela avant que vous ne deveniez, deveniez commandant pour AK, la l'unité K4? So thank you, Madam President. President, witness, please oui, hold on. Témoin, International Deputy Co-Prosecutor, you may not proceed. Um, Your Honour, perhaps the question should be Madame how many months it was before or after he became the capable commander. So I object to the, to the question. I'd be very happy to rephrase. Um, Mr. Witness, how many months before or after you became commander did you see um, weapons being transported and were you told to mind your own business? Answer. Answer. I do not recall the date and the month exactly because it happened a long time ago. Cela s'est produit il y a fort longtemps. Maybe I'm wrong. Question. Peut-être que je me trompe. But your position as commander seems to have a relation to the arrest of the previous commander. À l'arrestation du commandant précédent. So, the day that you became commander might have something to do with the moment that you saw those weapons being transported. Can you do a little bit your best and try to remember when you were told to mind your own business? De ce jour où l'on vous a dit de vous occuper de vos propres affaires.
จำบาทสมชายจูนอองตลากาอันซาเรียบร้อยสิ When I was warned that I had to mind my own business, it was law. After that, I was promoted to the head or chairman of K4. So it was long after that time. Let me help you a little bit, Mr. Witness. There is evidence that suggests that your predecessor, the commander of K4. Was attending a general staff meeting in October 76. He was arrested in March 77. Were you told to mind your own business between October 76 and March Answer. I do not recall it. Réponse. Je ne m'en souviens pas. I'm seeing that it is four o'clock, Mr. President. Maybe it's time to stop. Peut-être est-il moment d'interrompre. President. President. Thank you, Council. Merci, Maître. The hearing today comes to an end. L'audience d'aujourd'hui touche à sa fin. The hearing will be adjourned. Now and uh, we will resume tomorrow on 16 of June 2015, starting at 9 a.m. tomorrow. The chamber will resume hearing this witness, Kao Lu, and the chamber would like to inform parties and the public that the next witness is to TCW 901. However, because of the arrangement or the scheduling. Étant donné les arrangements en termes de calendrier, the chamber will hear two TC W nine three zero before two TC two TC W nine zero one. So please be informed. Pour information. The chamber would like to express its sincere thanks to La you, Mr. Gao Lu. The hearing of your testimony has not come to an Monsieur end Kao yet, Lu, so you are invited to be here again at 9 a.m. tomorrow, and uh, it will not last longer than one session or one morning. Court officer, you are instructed to work with Wesu to send uh, Mr. Kao Lu back to the place which he is now residing or staying, and uh, please invite him to be here again tomorrow before 9 a.m. Security personnel are instructed to bring uh, Mr. Nguyen Chien Kiusampong back to the detention facility and have them returned. Tomorrow before 9 a.m. The court is now adjourned. Some take out your.